channel so today i filmed this really easy makeup look i do this look whenever i'm going out quickly to an event or to a meeting and i still want to look a little bit glam and i don't know what i'm wearing yet so if you guys want to see how i created this tutorial from start to finish please keep watching okay guys let's get started i haven't done a makeup tutorial like this for quite some time without no foundation stuff so i'm going to quickly whiz through everything and show you my everyday makeup so as you guys see i've already got my eyebrows on i used a new product today it's from the brow gal and i'm really loving this at the moment i'm going to feature this in my favorites probably because it's really good because you can use water on it and it creates like a pomade kind of thing and then you use like a powder bit and then it doesn't ruin the eyeshadow when you put water on it amazing Bitch. okay so for moisturizer i'm going to use the toucher water gel so i just received like a big box of toucher goodies and this is really nice because it's super lightweight love the color of the bottle look how pretty this color is mm, it's inspiring me for a makeup look so the texture of this is super lightweight it's like almost like a serum it's really runny it's got like a goldish kind of reflex to it but i have really oily skin so i need moisture to my skin but i don't like it to feel heavy especially when i'm putting on makeup on top of it don't want my makeup to be sliding all around you know so much redness in my skin at the moment guys it's horrible okay so for my primer today i'm going to use the ysl all hours primer i have to shake this one up because it has spf in here so you need to make sure you put a good mix up together it's like a light baby pink formula i'm really liking this at the moment because it's super silky and it really makes my foundation last so much longer really really lightweight as well it doesn't feel heavy on the skin and it really fills in all the pores okay 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 foundation wise i've been loving the fenty foundation i think this has got to be one of my go-to foundations one of my top foundations actually from mac it's called shoe fix fluid and i know a lot of people don't like it but i still love it so much but i finished all of mine so the fenty foundation is probably the most compact to it i find this one as well the color is a bit nicer with the studio fix fluid one i find it's very yellow whereas this one's a bit more olive so i'm in the shade 290 i do have a full review on fenty beauty on my channel so if you guys haven't yet please check that out i'm gonna do like two pumps on the back of my hair and then what i find with this foundation i'm just like gonna dot it all around my skin and this is like a really good color for me it's probably the best color match i've had foundation wise i find by dotting it on my skin my sponge doesn't absorb too much so i'm literally just tapping it all over the skin i always prefer sponges i do have the fenty brush but i find with the brush it takes a lot longer because obviously it's a smaller brush it doesn't go enough surface area on my face this is literally like two dab then my half of my face is done okay so i just applied on like two layers of foundation so it gives me really really nice coverage and you guys can see it blends into my neck really nicely so i'm gonna go in with tarte shape tape i haven't used this in a while this is in the shade light medium i'm gonna put this underneath my eyes to help brighten up that area and then just down my nose and it on my chin i love the tarte shape tape but a little bit goes a long way it's one of those concealers that you have to wear with full coverage foundation you can't really wear it like by itself because it's so heavy but i love the heaviness <laughs> So before I powder, I always use like a cream bronzer, especially around my forehead, because naturally you can see my forehead is a bit darker than my middle of my forehead. That's just how it naturally looks like. And also I feel like I've got a big forehead as well. So if you do this tip, it's going to make your forehead look more smaller. Smaller? More smaller. Yeah. So I'm going to go in with Refined Golden BB Cream by MAC. I haven't used this in a while as well. Because it was at the back of my drawer, but I love cream bronzers. It's using my Dose of Coloured blush brush i think it's called i like this color because it's really warm it's like a good bronzy shade and it doesn't feel too heavy as well it's like a bb cream so the formula is really lightweight i actually still do like mac products guys a lot of people think that like, i freaking hate mac and stuff i don't hate mac but obviously my experience is a bit different because i used to work there but i do still use some of the products and stuff like i just said that like, shooter fix blue is still one of my favorite foundations so it just adds like a bronzy kind of finish to skin and i'm just gonna put some on my cheeks it just gives a base so when i put my powder products on top it really has something to kind of enhance really lightly just so it looks a bit more natural rather than one blank color all over your skin you know okay so the powder i've been loving at the moment is for benefit and i think a lot of people don't know about this powder but it's so good guys it's very similar to laura mercier but i've used up all my laura mercier now so this is probably like the most comparable so this is what the powder looks like it's called the pore professional anti-shine powder the only thing i don't like is this packaging guys it is meant to be for like your handbag it comes with like a little brush on here and then the powder comes out here so you put it on the lid but i don't know i don't like the fact it's so small so i actually decanted it onto like a little pot 
this one had like hair gel in it and I scooped it all out. Put the powder in here. It took me ages to shake it all out, but this is what I use for traveling as well because it's not too big. So I can dip my puff in there. So I've been loving this brush for powder. It's from Real Techniques. It's called the BO1 brush. It's like a big powdery brush. It's from the new blue range. It's got a really pointy cobalt blue tip. I love the design of this. And then it's kind of like a nudie kind of colour. So I literally dust it in the forehead and I get a lot on my brush so it goes right inside the pores and I don't sweep, I literally push like this so the brushes are all spread so the reason why you want to push in is because you want to almost like fill in the pores so you want to really push in especially in this area near my nose I have like really large pores it's really important you set your foundation guys otherwise your foundation will slip aside throughout the day so bronzers I've been addicted to recently again I've fallen back in love with them is from NARS I used to use these all the time and then recently I don't know why I just found new stuff and I forgot all about it like it was hidden on the back of my drawer this drawer is like never ending guys you know Alex shows you can reach right to the back of it and things get lost so these were like hidden at the back and I've been using them a lot recently so I love Laguna and I also love Casino I feel like I wish there was a colour in between these two shades so Laguna is this, this is better for light skin we've got Casino which is darker and I literally mix them both together so they're literally like perfect Laguna is amazing for contouring your nose I'm going to use my blank canvas f15 brush it's like a red brush it looks like a little clown nose everyone is going crazy over clowns at the moment you know like last year it was like harley quinn and then this year i feel like that pennywise the clown girl some people have like really bad fears of a clown i don't know why people get so scared about it it's just a person with face paint on so i just put this literally around my forehead just to make sure my forehead is contoured to the high heavens along my cheekbones so for contouring my nose i'm going to use this brush from mark jacobs it's called the concealer brush and then we're going to go in with Laguna, so that's a lighter shade. When I'm a bit more tan, that's when I just use Casino by itself, but I'm in the middle because my spray tan is wearing off. So I just literally put this on the bridge of my nose, and I do have a separate video on how I do like highlight and contouring and stuff, so you can watch a bit more in depth there. But I literally do it on the skin, on the sides of my nose, just to create like a soft shadow there. Guys, who is coming to BeautyCon on the 2nd of December? I'm having a meet and greet there, so it's my first ever meet and greet. So please, if anyone is gonna be at BeautyCon, please, if you see me, come and say hello, because I would love to meet as many guys as possible. I'm so excited to be doing my first ever meet and greet with like a big brand such as BeautyCon. Like, so crazy because I was there last year, December, and I was on like 50k last year. And it's so crazy how, like, one year on, I'm on like not even double, like quadruple the amount. It's freaking blows my mind, honestly. Snatch that nose. <laughs> Okay, so for highlighter, I'm going to use a Fenty Kilowatt Hustler Baby highlighter. I know in my last video I said it wasn't that great, but I've been using it a bit more recently and I do like the formula a bit better. So I only like this shade. This shade is like nothing. But this shade, I don't know, it's so much more creamy, buttery, smoother, like it's freaking different. That one, you couldn't even see anything. I don't know how they go from one extreme to the other, but okay. I'm going to use the Morphe R36. The freaking right is rubbed out because I use it so often. I just highlight the top of my cheek. This is my favourite part of my makeup routine, guys. Comment down below, what's your favourite part of doing your makeup? I love highlighting. It's like the bit that like brings everything back to being alive. I'm alive! trying to be see over here okay, and just highlight my forehead just get a bit more life down the center of my nose and especially my tip the tip of my nose makes so much difference because it makes your nose look <laughs> whatever this is <laughs> So yeah, the more that I use this highlight, it is really nice because it doesn't have too much of a base to it. It just has more of a sheen rather than like an actual colour as a base, which is what I really like. Got an email. Quickly going to add a bit of blusher and then we're done. I'm going to use the EX1 Pretty in Peach blusher. This one's nice because it has no shimmer in it. I'm actually not a big blusher gal. I know a lot of people love loads of blusher, but I just like a little bit. Just to bring a bit of colour onto my cheeks. Okay, so my skin is on, looking really flawless, really happy with that. And then, this is what I do as well. When I go out, I always put my lip on before my eyes. Because sometimes I find, when you put your lip on and stuff, you don't have to do that much to your eyes. And I already know what liquid lips I'm going to use. So I'm going to show you my favourite all-time liquid lips. And I finished it and I was talking about it on Snapchat. I'm so upset because it's all dried and crusty, but I'm still going to scrape as much out as I can. So this is the Am Reezy 88 Liquid Lip. I remember the first time she wore this on her Snapchat, I was like, oh my god, what colour is that? Because I am obsessed with MAC stripped down lip liner. The colour of it, recently they changed the formula or something, the colour is not the same anymore. And this is like the old 
colour or strip down because strip down is meant to be like a it's not too warm which is what I really like it's like a brown and it contours the lip really really nicely but it doesn't look too grey where it looks like mauvey it's just a perfect strip down but the new one that I got is not the same strip down bitch I don't know why it's more peachy pinky now but this is so nice guys I love it so much look how dirty oh dear lord I've used it so much even when I pull it out I'm like oh this brush looks so dry. It's the best formula ever. It feels so soft, powdery. It doesn't make your lips all sticky. You can eat with it and it doesn't look flaky. You don't get the dry bum hole lips when you use this. It's just the best, guys. The best. I don't have no coupon codes for you guys, unfortunately. I'm literally like scraping the edges. <sighs> Okay guys, so this is what the lip looks like on. It's like the perfect mauvey brown. It's a little bit of pinkiness in there, but whenever I wear it, I get so many compliments. People always ask me what this lip is. It's my favourite lip of all time, especially with the eye makeup that I'm going to do. So the eye makeup is really, really quick, really simple, and I get so many people asking me on Snapchat to do a makeup tutorial on this look. But guys, I don't even know why I'm doing this freaking look for you, because it's so easy. That's why I thought I'd do the whole tutorial from start to finish, because it's such an easy eye makeup look. I normally use any brown. I use Saddle from MAC, I love the Naked Heat palette, I'm using that a lot at the moment. So I just got a delivery from Morphe and it's a new 3502 palette. So I looked at the palette already and it has loads of browns in here. So I was like, I'm going to use this palette for today, but I'm just letting you know that you can recreate this eye makeup look with any other brown that you have, as long as it's like a matte brown warmish colour. So I'm going to use it for the first time on camera today. I don't know if you've noticed, but Morphe has rebranded, I think. It used to say Morphe brushes and now it's Morphe and it's like goldish. Mmm, fantastic. So when you open the package, it says M. Hashtag Morphe babe. So it has like all this fancy like right. Oh bitch, you'll slap me my face a bit. Oh yeah. It's like dun 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 dun. All these layers. So here it is guys, Morphe 3502. So the packaging is so much nicer now, it's a lot more sleek, it doesn't look as cheapy cheap. So it's got red on the side now and it says blend the rules. What the fuck does that mean? I do not know. So now it says that like, Morphe on it and it's like engraved. So this is what the pack looks like. They've decided to name the eyeshadows now, which I find is good, but I feel like they should imprint it on the top bit here because I'm, who the fuck's gonna keep this around? Not me, but obviously I need to because I'm a YouTuber now. I need to keep stuff like this to name it down below. The first thing I noticed when I opened this palette was dun, 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 dun. it has a black. You guys know how I feel about black eyeshadows. I need a black eyeshadow always. So this palette's really, really nice. It's very similar though. That's the only thing I would have to say. Like there's this color, this color, this color, this color, this color that basically looks like the same eyeshadow but because it's kind of like dotted around it doesn't look too similar i'm guessing if they put it all in a row it would be like the slightest difference that you probably wouldn't even be able to notice if it was on your eyes and do you guys hear like a phone that just went off in the background ah! um i really love these kind of like shades here it's like a bright kind of corally reddish color here i like this kind of bottom row i think this is like a really nice brown as well and then this one as well but whenever i do my typical everyday eyeshadow look when i'm going to events and stuff like that i always wear colors like this literally all over the eyelid so i thought this would be a perfect way to introduce this palette in this easy makeup tutorial i don't know if you guys know but i don't have an affiliate code with morphe so you guys are gonna have to use like manny or jackson hill or something like that i'm sure they have loads of discount codes but i don't have one myself personally i don't really do that many discount codes i don't we didn't like doing them but i don't know let me know if you guys like discount codes because maybe i can ask a brand for it but i'm not that bothered about it yeah i always feel like when people are always pushing discount codes it's like i don't know do you guys get a bit annoyed by it? I feel like when I watch like gossip channels and stuff, people get so annoyed when people use discount codes. So then it puts me off using them. But then you guys save money and then I get some money. So should I do it? I don't know, girl. I'm going off on tangent. I just picked up this brush. This brush is from Morphe as well. I didn't fucking know. But it's Morphe M576. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this shade here. I think it's called Flux. This one is a bit more orangey compared to like this one. Oh my god, the colours are so similar, it's so hard to tell. So this is going all over my eyes and I'm literally going back and forth. There's like literally no rhyme or reason. I literally feel so stupid with doing a tutorial on this because it's literally like one eyeshadow colour all over the eyelid and blend it up high. I do this literally when I want like a quick smoky eye because when you put on your lashes on this makeup look or if you do the eyeliner and stuff like that, it literally makes your eyes look really nice and smoky and it looks like you spent a long time on it when you have not. It's just one eyeshadow all over the eyelid. I love this makeup look even when I'm not wearing eyeliner. 
Because I'm just wearing literally your eyelashes. It's still really nice because it's super like smoky still. You guys are going to be so disappointed in this tutorial because so many guys wanted to see a tutorial on this look, but it's literally so easy. So what I like about eyeshadow colours like this, because it's like a medium tone brown, I find the more you blend it out, it starts to go a bit lighter. So it kind of acts like your transition shade. You don't need like another shade. And the more you go back in with the same eyeshadow and keep going on top of it, it goes deeper and deeper. So on the eyelid, I make it as smoky as possible. And then when I go up higher, I do that bigger strokes and I go up slowly. So I'm finding down here and then slowly you can see my brush is slowly migrating upwards towards my brow. Okay, so I'm going to use a Marc Jacobs eyeliner in brownie. You guys know I love the Marc Jacobs eyeliner. They're my go-to eyeliners of all time. And I just put this on my lower lash line. Also inside my waterline as well. 232 Luxe Zoeva brush. It's so dirty, I need to wash it. I'm going to go in with... A slightly brownier brown. I'm gonna go in with this one. A bit more of a warmer brown. What is that called? It's called fawn. So what I do guys, I do this ugly stank face like this. So that my lower eyelid can stretch. The only way your lower eyelid can stretch is when you do the stank face. There's no other way of doing it guys. I just have to let all the bats fly in the cave, you know? Just make sure it all connects. I find that I bring my eyeshadow really high and I drag out my eyeshadow really low. When people show me their eye makeup looks and they ask like, what do I think about it? I feel like a lot of people need to go lower with their lower lash line because a lot of people just keep it really small but it makes your eyes look really beady if you do it like that. If you blow it out a bit more, it'll make your eyes look more like smoky and more of their Instagram makeup look rather than like a novice eyeshadow look, you know. So just to finish it off, I'm going to put some lashes and mascara. The mascara we're going to use is from Ico, and it's really cool because it's squidgy, guys. You can get some every last drop of it. This is called Lash Alert Wake Up and Go. I really like it because the brush is really, like, small because I've got really baby lashes. So this gets right to the root, to the root, to the root, to the left, to the left, to the root, to the root. Look how much lashes this mascara gives me and it makes my lash line look thicker i'm gonna put thick lashes on anyway so i don't even know why it matters but you know okay so on my eyes i didn't want to do like a big fat black wing but i did want to kind of elongate my eyes just a little bit so i just went in with like a dark brown shade just one of these shades at the bottom here just with the same zoeva 232 brush and i just went right to my bottom lash line i just kind of dragged out a little bit so this is the easiest way to create like a smoky wing lash line i'm gonna forget that someone just emailed me and just interrupted me so on my eyes today i'm gonna use these slay lashes in goddess this is such a beautiful eyelash guys if i was ever gonna create an eyelash this would be something that i would strive for so pretty these are what the lashes look like they're super fluttery and minky and freaking beautiful so i'm going to use my may rocky lash glue and i'm just going to run it along the spine of the eyelashes i love this eyelash glue guys so good i do have a separate video about how to apply on lashes but the trick is you want to wait until the glue is almost dry and then that's when you put it on if you put it on too early it's gonna slip and slide it's gonna do like some freaking dark smooths on your eyelashes you don't want that so wait until it's almost dry blow on it fart on it fucking do whatever you want and just wait for it to dry girl so while it's dry i'm just gonna take some black eyeliner this is makeup forever aqua xl number 10 black eyeliner i'm just gonna do my waterline here this will make your lashes blend in a lot nicer especially when you're not wearing top eyeliner helps it look a bit more natural okay now that this lash looks like it's nearly dry you can kind of tell when it's nearly dry because it starts to go like really clear looking these are also from slay lashes right on top as close to the lash line as possible and then kabam it's on bitch just on like donkey kong and then i literally just push the lash as close as i can to my waterline then let's do the other eye quickly i'll be back so just to finish everything off i'm gonna go with the all nighter makeup setting spray this literally just sets everything but while it's still wet i go in with a bit more highlighter i'm gonna use this one this is from dull light and it's called shine bright so just as i put in a setting spray because my face is still a little bit damp i put in a little bit of highlight and that really keeps my highlighter looking popping all day and because obviously it's a bit damp it kind of pops out the highlighter a bit more okay and i was gonna quickly go and get changed and i'll be back okay guys so that's it for this easy peasy makeup look i literally wear this look whenever i need to get really quick and i still want to look a little bit glamorous because it's still really nice and smoky but neutral and it literally goes with any outfit you're gonna wear because i never know what i'm gonna put on i just do my makeup and then whack on something quickly 
last minute. So if you guys like this tutorial, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. I have so many people requesting this look, so please show your support down below. Make sure you follow me on all my other social media platforms. It's just X Tweely on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hey, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy the bloopers. Oh, bitch! Right, my fingers. Okay, so undo. <coughs> Beauty just reposted me. What? Shit, one o'clock. Okay, I just posted my Instagram photo. So if you haven't yet, go to my page and double tap. Ah, itchy. Itchy. I'm itching. My elbow is itching. What does that mean? Does that mean good luck is coming? What, Grant, what are you doing back there? I just want to peel very carefully. I can still hear you. Okay, if you can hear me, mate. Just do it quick. Stop doing it very slow then. Emails, emails, emails. Why do you never have your phone on silent, mate? I've given up now, guys. <laughs> it was a junk email, so it wasn't even a freaking proper email. It wasn't even worth the freaking blooper. <laughs>